Volkswagen ass aptitude when it comes to selling SUVs in the United States has been how do we say this question mark less than keen. It arrived late to the game, and its first self-developed SUV was overly ambitious, expensive, and cursed with an inelegant name, Touareg. Doubling down on the dumb name game, VWS second Duda, the compact Tigan, was too small, too bland, and too expensive to contend with the rising wave of stylish, well-packaged entries such as the 2017 Honda CRV, the Mazda CX-5, and the Ford Escape. But VW seems to have crossed over bad pun intended a hump, recently previewing a family of new crossovers that appear to be better sized, better equipped, and much better looking, including the appealing second-generation 2017 Tiggin for Europe and other world markets, the recently unveiled three-row Atlas midsize model, two attractive subcompact crossover concepts dubbed T-Rock and T-Cross, a full-size crossover concept called T-Prime, and now this new long wheelbase 2018 Tiggin, which VW claims was developed specifically with the US market in mind. Based on VWS Flexible Modular Transverse Matrix MQB, transverse engine vehicle architecture, the new long wheelbase Tiggin is identical in most ways to the shorter model, which won T come to the United States, only with 4.4 more inches between the axles and 10.7 inches of additional overall length compared to its predecessor. Behind its long rear doors is a second row seat split into 40 slash 20 slash 40 sections that can slide up to 7.0 inches forward and out. The stretch also makes room for a third row seat that will be available on all wheel drive models but standard on all front drivers, plus up to 57% more cargo space. As you might imagine, the third row seat offer a huge amount of space in its selectable modes, normal, snow, off-road, and off-road individual, with top-shelf versions providing screen support via the 8.0-inch dashboard display depicting compass, steering angle, pitch and roll angles, and engine oil temperature. A few weeks ago, we drove a US spec all-wheel drive 2018 Tiggin prototype covered in light camo in South Africa and found that Despite being down on power compared to last year, it could accelerate energetically and steered with little by way of feel but with eminent obedience and unwavering stability, even over rough pavement. 
We toggled the adaptive dampers between their comfort and sport settings, observed the 8-speed automatic in both its self-shifting and manual modes, and generally found the new TIG GS demeanor to our liking. Once we drive and then test final production models and learn how much VW will charge for them we re-guessing between $26,000 and $40,000 we ll figure out where this new TIGAN ranks in its segment. It's looking a lot more like a contender than its predecessor did.